today we're continuing what has become a bit of a tradition here at ICTY over the years with International Women's Day. We every year invite a guest speaker to come in and organise a reception to mark the day and the event is organised by the ICTY Focal Point for Women in conjunction with the ICTY Staff Union. Our objective really in this celebration is to encourage everybody to stop and think for a moment about the status of women and girls throughout the world. And our guest speaker today, Catherine Bolkovac, is someone who certainly fits within that category. Catherine is the inspiration for the movie, The Whistleblower, which has recently been playing in cinemas around the world. And the movie depicts Catherine's determined battle against trafficking in women and girls in post-war Bosnia and Herzegovina. Instead of being applauded for her efforts, Cathy was in fact dismissed from her job as a UN monitor precisely because she had the courage to speak out about the involvement of international personnel in the trafficking in, in the women and girls in Bosnia. These type of bars were quite common. Uh, the one young lady escaped, and at that time, the only words that she could really say in English were, were the words Florida, 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 as you saw in the film. So I took a local police officer with me and a translator and called for several other IPTF to join. And at that time, when we arrived at the bar in the middle of the day, it was abandoned. Uh, however, it was quite strange. I found US passports, excuse me, I found US dollars and many foreign girls' passports behind the bar. Um, I kept walking around thinking, you know, how in the world could this place be abandoned? And then eventually saw a door at the top of the stairs. We broke it in and found seven young women, not in chains, as you see here, but huddled on mattresses, condoms strewn all over the mattresses, uh, garbage bags full of clothes that they, they were just kept there. And at that time, I really connected and made the connection that um, something very drastic and horrible was going on in Bosnia. Our mandate really is to promote and improve the status of women staff members at ICTY because if you look at the situation of women throughout the UN system we still find problems like underrepresentation of women at senior positions we still find that there are issues like harassment discrimination indeed sexual exploitation and abuse where the UN has created very firm policies zero tolerance policies but of course the paperwork means nothing if there's no mechanism for trying to actively lobby and enforce it well, our guest of honour was Catherine Bolkovac, who is the inspiration behind the movie that's recently been released and playing in cinemas around the world called The Whistleblower. And Catherine's also written a book um, with a similar name. It's The Whistleblower, it's Military Contractors, Sex Trafficking and One Woman's Fight for Justice. And this tells her story of working in Bosnia and Herzegovina after the war. Well, that actually was part of my, uh, I guess, healing process because after I'd won my lawsuit in the United Kingdom, I really needed to let that go. And uh, little did I know that it would not be letting it go at all, but it would be continuing for the next 10 to 12 years. So um, it, it really was, though, part of the healing process. And then also, I also had filmmakers coming to me, and I wanted to make sure that I had the facts written down that I would always be able to refer to. I definitely see seas of change. I have no bitterness whatsoever. I really am working toward uh, you know, changing the future and changing the students and changing the, the younger generation. And the United Nations aired this film. They screened the film uh, in October of this last year in New York. And I've been invited to several fringe UN organizations since that time to teach and lecture and uh, do similar events to what I did tonight. <laughs> 